So my go-to way to download Samsung smartphone firmware is generally by using a program. It used to be SamFirm was the program that I used. It had become abandoned due to some changes that were made in Samsung's server structure. So I switched over to a program called Freya, which I've done a tutorial on in the past. And that's a great way to download the latest firmware for your smartphone or tablet. But it's not going to work if you need to download an older firmware. So today's tutorial, I want to show you a website that I recently learned about that lets you download older official Samsung smartphone firmwares. So there are a lot of different places that you can download these firmware files from. I know many years ago, Sam Mobile was the go-to place to download those. And if you have an account with the website, it's fine. But if you're wanting to download this stuff free, then it's going to be very, very slowly to download. So for a while, I was recommending a website named updato. U-P-D-A-T-O dot com. They have a firmware section, which worked very similarly to Sam Mobile's, but it lets you download at full speed. And again, I used that for a long time, but last week I was looking for places to download archived firmware, these older firmware files, and Updato just wasn't doing it for me. Not only did they not have all of the firmware files that I was looking for, but they've also changed over to an, an account system. And again, I was getting very, very slow download speeds, just like Sam Mobile. So I can't recommend that website anymore. Now these two websites do have a big selection. And if you don't mind the slower speeds for the free accounts, or if you don't mind paying for those faster speeds, then I definitely still recommend using them. For those who don't, however, I want to recommend this website called samfw.com. I got wind of this through a comment on the channel, I believe over the weekend, but it could have been at the end of last week. I'll try to mention that user's name in the video description below. But SamFirm is exactly what I was looking for last week whenever I was looking for older firmware files for my Galaxy S10 Plus. So whenever you, you go to this program, samfw.com, you're going to be greeted with this screen, and we can just tap into this box to go ahead and start typing the model number for the device you want to download a firmware file for. You can find this model number in the settings page within the about phone or about tablet section. So once you type in the model number, it should give you a filter. It should filter all the other results so that you can simply tap on the one option that is remaining. And then from here, we're going to be taken to a filter page and a lot of country codes down here. But we can simply type in your current uh, CSC code. To filter out, again, we're filtering out all of the other options. So we put in our CSC code up here. Then we scroll down a little bit to the country section to see our country code. And then we can tap on that file. And then from here, we're going to scroll down again to get a list of the available firmware files that we have for this device. Now if you want, we can also scroll back up here toward the top at the filter 
and we can filter between different versions of Android. So if we wanted to at least attempt to downgrade to a version of Android 9 for this specific device, we could do exactly that and download the firmware from here. If we wanted to download a firmware based on Android 11, which is the latest version for the Galaxy S10 Plus that I have, again, you can see that we do that right there. And once you find a firmware that you actually want to download, all you have to do is tap on that firmware. You're going to get some information about said firmware, such as the AP version the CSC version, again, the version of Android that it is based on, the binary level that this, device, that this firmware is using. We have our CSC code here, again, which we can change if we wanted to, along with the build date, the size, and the MD5 hash for those who need to compare and make sure that they do not have a corrupt file. And then you're going to have the four ways of downloading this file. I chose the download on website option whenever I used this website last week, but I also used it on the desktop. If you're going to download from the website, you need to use it from a desktop PC, not on a mobile browser. But if you want to download this on your phone, you may be able to get around this error message by switching to the desktop site within mobile Chrome. Can't guarantee that that workaround will work. I haven't personally tested it. I'm fine with using it on the computer, but just a heads up for everybody so you know. So this is the current website that I'm using to download old and archived versions of Samsung smartphone and tablet firmware files.